Hey, how's it going everybody? Kenzie here. Today I wanted to show you how you can take a long form piece of content, something like a webinar, something live and recorded, online training, a video interview that you did on Zoom, things like this, and teach you how to basically take those long form pieces of content and then chunk it up so that you can turn out a lot of micro or shorter form of evergreen content. Okay, so if you're taking, trying to look for something that is going to help you take something long form to short form evergreen content because you got those nuggets of great information in those pieces of videos, then this video is for you. Now, when I was scrolling through LinkedIn, I saw a perfect example. So I wanted to show you what I'm going to show you how to create today, which is a video a little bit like this. So you see this guy. Always signed. I don't know who this is. Way longer than they actually are. They go like this. <laughs> so this guy is doing a video about public speaking. I think he is a CEO at Kitson Consultancy. I don't, I don't know. But basically, he wants to share a little bit about some information that he thinks is going to be helpful for his audience. So he made a clip like this. So this format is very common. You'll see this a lot. So you got the horizontal video. You got the kind of the uh, header at the top that's going to catch your attention. And then, of course, you got the captions on the bottom, which is super, super helpful to increase engagement because not everybody's going to be listening at work or in transit or whatever that may be. So I'm going to show you how to make something like this from a longer video. The video tool I'm going to use today is called uh, Milk. And the reason why I'm using this is I typically prefer these kind of dashboard video, video editing systems over something like Adobe Premiere. When it comes to quickly taking something that is already uh, computer-based, like something that's already cloud-based like Zoom videos or something like this, and then effectively churn out a bunch of pieces of content. When you put it into Adobe Premiere, and I'm speaking as a video editor, the it, 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 trust me, it takes a little bit longer because you actually have to go in and listen and clip everything out. And I'm going to show you why Milk is specifically really easy to use. So when you sign up for Milk, this is what the website looks like, milk.video. You're going to come into this dashboard. And the cool thing about Milk, and I'll show you in a second, is they allow you to edit based on the transcription itself. And you're going to want to do that, again, because it's way easier to actually just read through your transcription rather than having to sit there and listen and remember, oh yeah, what point of the conversation did we say this? That is the part that, you know, that we want to clip as a evergreen content. So really easy. First, you're going to have to take a video clip. Yeah, so this is a clip I did with a friend. We were we were basically, I was interviewing him about self-employed taxes. So I'm going to drag that in here. And just give it a second. It's going to upload and, and transcribe everything. So I did that earlier. So I actually do already have a clip here. As you can see, here is the transcription of the entire call. And... All I have to do here is, again, instead of having to sit here and like try to listen, oh, which part was, did he say that? I can actually just quickly skim. So I'm going to quickly skim. Let's see. Hmm. So let's see. He says here, just make sure that you make those purchases and it's completed. So I don't know what he's talking about here, but <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clip that. So click C to clip. And once you've clipped it, you're going to see on the notice on the left hand side, you are basically going to start getting piling up a bunch of your clips. So again, if you want to just sit down once and clip out a bunch of micro pieces of content, evergreen pieces of content for you from a long form, this tool is so, so great. I'm just going to go through and let, like, let's say there's like another piece of thing right here. So I go, wow, okay, wow, that blows my mind. He was educating me about Roth IRA, things like that. So I'm going to highlight that. I want to turn that into an evergreen piece of content. So again, click C. That's going to clip it. And I just keep doing that. You see see how easy it is? So maybe there's like another piece I want to clip here and just clip that again. So now once you start to pile up a bunch of these clips and just go through your long form content and just start to cut these out, you're going to have a bunch of clips to side, and you're going to want to turn them into videos, of course, right? So you hover over, you're going to create create as video. Feel free to bypass this part. It's going to basically give you a little preview of what you can do. And ultimately, when you click ready to go, it's going to take you to the editor. 
Now, depending on what you want the size of your video to be, maybe you want it to be horizontal for YouTube, uh, or maybe you want it to be square because you want to put it out on other, you know, social media platforms that are more uh, vertical or square oriented. So if that's the case, you're going to come over here and you click brand and just easily resize by choosing landscape, which is what it's in now or square. Yep. You can also choose to do custom width if you wanted to, like let's say 1280 by 1920. That gets you a vertical format if you need something for vertical. But again, I'm just going to do square for now. Uh, I'm going to grab my text here, and I'm going to show you how to make piece of content like we just saw. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to elongate that because I think that's what it was. I'm going to crop it. I'm going to crop it so it's just this part. Yep. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So now it's like a little bit nicer, right? Okay, then I'm gonna put the clip on the bottom here. When I mean clip, I mean the caption so they can read it. And then at the top, I'm gonna add a text, a title. So the title for this one is gonna be something like, get your taxes done. Or how about a uh, big tax tip? Huh? That's a big, big catcher. So put that on there at the top, and boom, that's it, right? So that's a kind of exactly what we, were, we wanted to do. I mean, again, this is linear, uh, horizontal, I mean, but we got the top text, you got the bottom, and you got the video, and it was super, super fast to do that, right? It only took me a matter of minutes. And from here, I can either go through the themes and actually try to change the, you know, the different colors that I like, or if you want to use custom colors, let's say your brand color is specific, oops, that was my fault. I scrolled out of it. Give it a second. Okay. So let's say your brand colors are not yellow, but they are these this dark blue. And then you can come here. You can change the fill color here. I'm going to just do white. And let's say the fill color here is, let's say, like red. Oh, now I can be a little bit more like active. Yeah, and I think, yeah, exactly. I think being active. And there we go. The video has chosen not to show. That's, I'm sure we can easily fix that. You can see here that you have the layers. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay. So if something weird like this happens, really easy to fix. That was, this is my fault. Actually, let's we just reset it. Let's reset it. Do, do, do. You can open your layer. I'm going to actually delete that video layer, and then I'm actually going to re-add the video here. There we go. And again, I'm just going to easily crop it in, and done. Okay, cool. I like that. So from here, all I'm going to do is click save and share. It's going to show me the dimensions. It's going to show me the quality and tell me about export time of one minute. Start to export. So that's it pretty much. The next step is you're going to want to download it. So if you come to the download section to the left, it's going to show you that right now it's processing, exporting your video. It should also send you an email letting you know once something is done so you don't have to always kind of sit and wait. But when you're ready to download, you just come to the side section over here and then you're gonna click over to the video. I'll show you with another video I've made before. So this is a video I had made earlier. Then you just click download from here and then either depending on the browser that you're using, it might just download right away or it'll kind of take you to one of these sections and then you just save video as. It's as easy as that. So hopefully that's helpful and that's a really easy way to basically take long form pieces of content through a live or a webinar or a video podcast or whatever that is and basically take that hour long piece of content and just cap, just chunk it up into a bunch of nice shareable evergreen pieces of content for your marketing and sales. All right, good luck everyone.